completing the third row of the grid, 14th quickest American Randy Mamola aboard the Italian-built Kajiva. Kajiva sporting the only non-Japanese bike in the entire field. Unfortunately for the popular Californian, things did not go well. He had this spectacular crash right in front of our cameras. Don't worry, he didn't go into the Bass Strait and certainly didn't get to Tasmania. In the replay from another angle, you can see that the throttle stuck wide open and poor old Randy was thrown off the bike at more than 150 kilometers per hour. He bounces along the grass, but so long are the runoff areas here at Phillip Island that no harm comes to the very popular American rider. Hello, Randy. Yes, we're over here. And good night. 30 laps around the beautiful Grand Prix circuit. Lights going from red to green. And Tadahiko Tara gets a brilliant start with the Yamaha. But so does Wayne Rainey, who seems to get the whole shot. Wayne Rainey with the Lucky Strike Yamaha going round the first right-hander. Tara in second place, Kevin Schwanz aboard the Pepsi Suzuki in third spot. Where is Wayne Gardner, the local hero? He's in fourth place, Eddie Lawson fifth. In sixth place is Kevin McGee, seventh is Freddie Spencer. But just look at Wayne Rainey. Rainey leading Tyra and Kevin Schwanz very much on the charge aboard that Suzuki. He's in third place. Rainey with a little gap and up the inside goes Schwanz. Schwanz takes second place from Tadahiko Tyra. Are we going to see a repeat of the Japanese Grand Prix? Schwanz trying incredibly hard. Gardner fourth, McGee right behind him in fifth place. The rest of the pack field comes through. Just look at Rainey try and Schwanz. Wayne Rainey putting a bit of daylight between himself and the Suzuki rider. Tyra third, remember. Two Australians in fourth and fifth place. Gardner aboard the Rothmans Honda, then Kevin McGee. And Michael Doohan is going well. And Schwanz is down! Kevin Schwanz has just booted himself out of the Australian Grand Prix. That is sensational. And Schwanz must be kicking himself. That was certainly his mistake. We'll see it again in some action replays. But Kevin Schwanz, the world championship leader, is out of the Australian Grand Prix in sensational style. From another position, he looks behind. He puts the power on out of that first gear corner and he's literally spat off the Suzuki. And to the applause of the crowd, he gets up. But I can tell you that is one very angry young man with himself, no doubt. Let's see it again in very slow motion. Action replay. Kevin looks behind. His throttle then goes wide open and the Pepsi Suzuki just throws him off. And he was very lucky not to be hit by the oncoming riders. Gardner taking incredible avoiding action. And McGee getting past in the melee. So Gardner goes down a place. But Kevin Schwanz, well, what can one say? The world championship leader is out.